So I'm practicing some weapons-based martial arts. A string, lanyard light. I'm working on the process of hooking my thumb in that step one. Step two is turning my hand through the lanyard, taking this weapon out. Step three and four would be gripping this so that both ends of the striking uh, implement can be used. Another option would be kind of capping your thumb on top so you can limit your use to the bottom, but yet it's still going, you know, going to have assistance but the string prevents your hand from sliding down if you were uh, going to have that happen in this particular instrument. So again, I'm working on indexing the weapon, getting my thumb into the string, taking it out, curling my hand through, and concealing this process. Leading my body to the side of an attacker, buying time with nonverbal communication and verbal as well. Stop, stay back, I don't want to fight, what's your problem? Don't come near me or whatever. I'm going to call. If you can't call, whatever, you get your weapon. So we worked a few techniques. That's one technique for taking it out. We looked at a technique, you know, I don't want to get caught up in techniques, but when changing grips, I'm, if I choose to swing the weapon, I need to rotate not just my thumb through, but my whole hand and thumb. Then flip my palm up again to grip. And work strikes and swing. Downward X, side to side motion. Body can do 180s. Face in different directions as if on a clock. Facing 12 o'clock, striking at 6, being aware of my back. Striking to 3. I can go down and up the same line or over and back on the same line. Down and up the same line, change line. I can double up. Double up. I can double up and double down, double to the side and around. I can turn. So I'm working on that choice, rotating to different hand grip positions, going from puño to wrist and thumb through and swing. That's my stick on a string progression so far, thank you.